Hey, this is it, Zyphos. Welcome back to Warhammer Chaos Spain. Uh, it's the second beta here. Um, we've just got through the first act with the Elf Archer and uh, just going to have a look at the skills uh, and things in a little bit more detail. A brief overview. Uh, let's have a look. So, we've got the basic skills fire off an arrow that ricochets, uh, it can be upgraded so that it poisons. And also the next one uh, can do uh, multiple ricochets, so we can try that one out. Let's, let's try an expedition. Oh wow, that's uh, quite devastating. That is fantastic. So that's the upgraded skill for the ricocheting basic attack. Let's see what else we have. So this was the one that looked like rapid shot. Fires the standard flourish of arrows. good for single target damage but to be honest I really enjoy the other one so I would run with uh, with that upgrade that to it looks like do poison damage and then you can upgrade it you do more damage if it's uh, slowed for example so possibly for single target that's ideal so we have a dagger that slows enemies I, I guess that's kind of like impale from the Demon Hunter, next one does Poison and the Energy gain, 10% extra energy gain from it Elvin Shot, this was the multi shot Next level, uh, Poisons uh, Then you have the Piercing, it looks like, for the third level Spinning blades. This is the one that ricochets off the wall. Bounces off the wall. So let's show you this. And then the upgraded. You're looking at chance of slow, and then the chance of poison. But this is actually quite a fun. <laughs> skill to watch this bounce off walls uh, let's try it here I need to focus it's just a shame it's on a on a cool down but uh, yeah so we can see that's bounces quite a few times and you can hear it in the background it goes on for a little while let's try this one Let me go forth. Spiral cut, uh, that's one of my favourite ones. We we have the superior version at the moment. It slows enemies as well, later on poison. So let's just show that. That's a bit like the Hammered in from Diablo or Spinning Blades. And they are also quite devastating. And I do like the sound effects of the. Uh, actually, feels like they're hitting something. Sounds uh, sounds very good. Let's have a look at the next one. So we can summon a dryad. It's like a pet. Quite weak, but uh, good for a distraction at the moment. So it's attacked and poisons. You can only have one at a time. So the next grade, he, it uh, poisons. But let's see if it actually changes. Let's have a look. <laughs> Like it changes very much. 
Okay, on to the next one. Reflect shot. Fire a volley of arrows in a circle around you that have a chance to repel enemies. That actually seems quite a good skill. I don't have the energy. Very good. Let's, uh, let's try it out. Okay, wow. Energy. I like that one. I think we have a lot and he's too weak. skill. So now we see how that levels up. So that adds a poison chance. Level 31. So that uh, extra damage but also chance to pierce. So we've got a line of brambles. So that uh, slows. Poison. So it seems like when you upgrade, it generally slows and then poisons. Uh, possibly a bit more damage. Thorny arrows. Fire off a rain of arrows over an area. So yeah, I'm guessing that's quite a kind of a big AOE rain of arrows down. Uh, very similar to uh, some of the shadow beast shot from the Natalia set that uses that one. I think uh, on Diablo three. But uh, it's quite common in other games as well. I think Champions of North used it a lot as well. Uh, back on the PlayStation 2. So, upgrades. We've got uh, poison. Chance to slow. So, that one does poison and then slow. So, living roots. Lay a trap on the ground. Triggers damaging explosion when an enemy approaches it. A limited number of traps can be laid at a time, and each trap can only be triggered once. So, there we go. We have the traps. I hope that they uh, are very good to use. Uh, I know there's quite, uh, quite a keen crowd of people that would like to use the traps. So, fingers crossed. Uh, there's summon six. Yeah, summon six is a max, it doesn't go up at all. So extra damage. So now let's look at the god skills, which I believe are from here. So we've got the god skill tree. It's quite uh, quite extensive. So you start here. I went the route of being able to uh, kill enemies and then have dryads spawn in their place which I found quite useful. So going to the left side where I am going now. So that's the 20 second. The dryad will last for 20 seconds. Then that means the summons go up to four. In between, you've got extra things like bonus damage, probably health, maybe cooldown reduction, uh, piercing. So let's just have a look don't have the points to use yet so that's some of the dryads that use poison as well instead of this one so that's like an upgrade you have five on that deal more damage to slowed poison and rooted enemies so extra damage again to poison and rooted that seems like uh, it's okay so the slightly bigger circles seem like they have two stats that come with them, cost reduction, health, I'm not sure but at first glance you'd have a, a negative armour but extra energy so maybe a bit of a double edged sword with those ones. So physical damage increased, that's wild brambles, looks like that changes a skill perhaps. Okay, upgrades this one. Right, Queen's Wrath, superior. Okay, so that's a regen health. 
kind of area. I, I'm, again, coming from a Diablo perspective, I'm guessing that's similar to the monk skill that uh, the place, uh, Divine Sanctuary perhaps, but don't remember the name off the top of my head, maybe that's that one. So, don't be about, yeah, just sort of generally boost extra physical damage or extra damage or extra health. Queen's Wrath. Health regeneration is increased. Okay. So, it changes more the skills rather than the character. Okay, that's quite good. 10% less critical damage, health regeneration. I'm guessing these trees are specific for each character. I'll go through that uh, if I get a chance in the next videos, which uh, I'll try the dwarf next and see how that changes. So health regeneration of all players is increased. Okay. Contributing to the death of a champion grants all players a critical hit chance. That's a very good uh, team bonus to have. Especially if people are just trying to rush through certain content. Extra damage is essential. Okay, so that's the, the god tree. Queen's Wrath, Queen's Wrath Superior. So those are the ones we saw on the tree that you can get. The two main god skills. So our passive skills. The wisp when we touch the wisp we get the energy but we can also get a damage reduction and a regenerate health at level 24 so that's actually quite a good skill players can regenerate so i'm guessing that's uh, a team bonus damage increased after moving generates energy so there's the energy generation so after you move, you can get your energy, slowly get your energy back. And then that one boosts to 20% damage. So tactical roll grants a movement speed bonus. That's um, tactical advantage on the Demon Hunter. It gave you uh, maybe a 60% speed boost for a, a few seconds uh, on the Diablo game. So this, as you can see, is very much got some ideas from that game or are using a slight twist on them so this also grants immunity to poison which is very good especially on the last boss fight uh, at the end of the act one boss with all the poison going around and a damage reduction bonus so there you go but uh, I'm all uh, I'm thinking immediately now there is no way with the points that you can really have all the top skills that you want. You're going to have to make some sacrifices somewhere. So let's keep going, see what else we have. A lone hunter. Health regeneration is increased if no enemy is nearby. So there's some passive health regen. So any regen. Uh, okay, that also regenerates energy. So health, health and energy. And critical hit chance. I'd be interested to find out just how close an enemy uh, doesn't need to be. Because if you get a critical hit chance, then that's only going to be benefit if you can actually use it on the enemy. So maybe there's some kind of a few seconds delay before that goes off. Um, Okay, poison damage is increased, and the duration. Okay, it doesn't say how long the duration is extra. Uh, I'm sure that that can be worked out by uh, just testing it in game. So traps do more damage. Performing a roll leaves a trap behind. Okay. More health, more damage from summoned creatures. And they also have a chance to heal players. Very good. So I can already see from this passive skill tree, you, uh, if you wanted to do traps for example, you, you have some trap skills but you also have your dodging and leaving traps behind to make them uh, a bit more of a sort of a passive trap style gameplay. 
You also have uh, some group buffs from boosting critical hit chance uh, as a group when you're killing a champion to having some summons to help regen health. Okay, Collector's Guild. These were the ones with the reputation. When you sell items and donate, sorry, when you donate your items, you can get boosts here. So you can get extra XP, uh, gold, extra gold percent and also a boost for maximum health so here you can have Master Cobbler so maybe this is a different collector's guild maybe in Act 2 perhaps but you can get extra damage uh, extra movement speed and loot quality 100% extra chance which from my experience in these games means that whatever chance you had of getting a higher quality item is pretty much doubled so if you've got a 1% chance uh, of getting something rare that would double it to 2% that's my that's my guess on, on that understanding so let's have a look at the passive god skills contributing to death of the enemy grants a chance of the dryad yeah, it's 15 seconds and then 20 seconds. Blessing of the forest for the health regen. Yep, yeah, more health regen. The wild brambles that we saw on the tree. Okay. Nature's heralds summon still more damage. So again, these, I can see they're all using up skill points. And for the passives. They seem to go into these slots here at the top. You've got your left click, which is your generation. Then you have your right click, which is your main kind of uh, attack that uses the energy. And then you've got your four other skills for extras like summoning the dryad or spinning blades, uh, something like that. This one, the last one, Queen's Reward. Yep, that's the critical hit chance. So 20 seconds, 30 seconds, and 15% chance for 20 seconds, which is actually quite a big boost. Okay, that's the elf skills gone through. I'm going to start looking at the other characters. Looking forward to you joining me. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, click like, click subscribe, get notifications on when the game's released. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.